This is an example of a situation and injury that would have been prevented under my system because players would have adjusted to my standards of calling things after the whistle. And in this case, it would have been an injury to a linesman that was prevented. So this is a scrum between the Montreal Canadiens and the Florida Panthers. Radko Gudis finishes his check there on Kirby Doc. Doc slashes him. Gudis slashes back. The linesman is immediately there to tie them and break them up. The linesman immediately has de-escalated that situation. But Mr. Edmondson comes in and cross-checks Gudis in the back. This completely transforms the situation from one that was fairly under control to a potentially highly volatile situation. And sure enough, the linesman gets tangled up with Stahl, who has now come in to attack Edmondson, and he gets injured in the process. This situation involves only two players, Gudis and Doc. And the linesman sees it happening and does a great job of stepping in immediately. Edmondson is way back on his own blue line. And I get he wants to come up. That's part of his job to protect. He wants to come up and see what the situation is. But it's clear by the time he gets there that that linesman has everything pretty much under control and there's no danger. There's no reason for Edmondson to come in and deliver that cross check. As a result, Stahl has to come in and defend his own teammate because that's what you have to do. And then the linesman gets injured. It's so needless. Time and time again, it's proven that vigilante justice causes more danger than it prevents. Under the tough call system, there's an automatic five-game suspension for any player who needlessly escalates the situation once the officials have things under control. Tough call would suspend Joel Edmondson of the Montreal Canadiens five games for needlessly endangering an official.